Atlas. He envisions himself a Grecian myth to save face. Part 1. The shadows of my fellow gaze seem to haunt me, always following closely behind. They show a brief image of their form, slanting and leaning in the most awkwardest positions. I don't know if I like them, but that's not important. The important thing is that they don't seem to know anything about you. Do you ever wonder why everyone has a shadow, but the shadow isn't anything like you? All shadows are the same. Part 2. Darshana S. once wrote, Tell me, Atlas, what is heavier, the weight of the world or its people's hearts? Atlas still stands, but does anyone else? Is the physical struggle of holding the earth for eternity more difficult than the struggle of staying alive despite mental and emotional instability? Which is heavier, a burden that can be measured or one that cannot? When Atlas stands tall at the end of time, finally released from his uneasy penance, will there be anyone left to celebrate the freedom with him? Why, dear Atlas, did you suffer through the punishment if you would be thrust into another? Why did you not let go when the people in your charge did? Oh, dear Atlas, will this torture ever come to an end? Will you ever truly be free? You, with your shaking hands and quiet eyes, your aching bones have never felt rest. People always tell you that you will do great things, someday. When will this day come? When will you do something other than hold the weight of others upon your shoulder? When will you be anything but a support beam? When will you be your own person? When will you be enough? Part 3 Dear Atlas, why haven't you learned your lesson? As you break your back bearing the weight of the world, others do not give you a hand. You must continue to bear it. They do not care if you feel empty. You must go on. Your shoulders quake with remorse, shiver from arbitrary loss. The bottom of your feet are scabbed with years of unyielding abuse. Bear your burden with resolution. Be still. Be quiet. Soldier on.